What is indie? Indie is really, in some ways, more of a state of mind. Hey, we, hey, Tim, hi. What, what are we doing? We're doing the inspirational intro to the Kind of Funny Game Showcase. No, man, I said we're not doing that. It's E3. There's no time for inspirational intros. Greg, we need the hype. We need no, the... the hype is the games. Should you I don't... go? No, what? you should shut up. The hype is the... We have more than 60 games, Tim. More than 60 games to get through in an hour. Just stop this. Let Dave Fenoy do his job. Fine. Indy. Shut up! Welcome to the Kind of Funny Games E3 Showcase. Yes, the first one almost killed them, but they're back. Hosted by Forbes 30 Under 30's Tim Geddes and Game Awards Trending Gamer, Greg Miller. Filmed on location in Los Angeles, California, home of E3 and a bunch of smaller events that don't want to pay to be in the LA Convention Center. E3 isn't a place. E3 is a state of mind. Just look around you. We are- Dave, I said no inspirational speeches. Okay, 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 okay. Jeez. This is the Kind of Funny Games E3 Showcase. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kind of Funny Games E3 Showcase from beautiful Los Angeles, California. Whoa. Today, we have more than 60 independent developers here to show you Great. all. We're not actually in LA. Well, yeah, of course not. Game Informer had to write about us, and they were like, oh, the last Kind of Funny Games Showcase was in San Francisco. Maybe this time they'll come to LA for E3 and walk around and do that. Imran, I don't have that kind of budget, all right? Kind of Funny is as indie as any of the developers and games you're about to see, so we had to stay close to home. And that's totally the point there, Greg, is that we are very lucky that Kind of Funny was given the platform that we were by the industry. Sure. We kind of want to give back, and we want to elevate the indie developers that might get lost in the shuffle of E3. Exactly. E3 is and has always been awesome, but with there being fewer stages than ever to show indie games on, we figured we'd step up like we did in December and make a showcase to celebrate the industry we love. And we want to get right to it, because we know E3's happening. We got Square coming up very soon. Final Fantasy VII Remake, baby, let's go! Avengers. Okay, all of it, right? But first, First, let's show our first game, Bloodroots. is the number to beat. 623 is the number to beat. Oh! What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! You've got to be A 40th of a second. Not 40 seconds, a 40th of a second. Not only is Bloodroots dropping its demo for our showcase right now, it is one of the 11 titles <laughs> that you can play at The Mix this Wednesday night at the Kind of Funny Game Showcase section in Los Angeles. That's right, of course, the Media Indie Exchange is one of my favorite E3 and GDC activities. Basically what happens is a bunch of independent developers get together under one roof to show their games off to each other, to the industry, and to the press. And for the first time ever, the showcase is gonna have a section there to showcase some of the titles we show you. Titles like this. Hamster Kung Fu Beat Em Up. Play as the hamster hero Pim and harness the mightiest martial arts powers. Kick tail through district after district on a heart pounding journey to take down the vermin gang, save grandpa, and restore peace to Hamsterdam. Speed Brawl is like if Sonic the Hedgehog and Streets of Rage had a baby. It's a super fast 2D side scrolling brawler where the faster you go, the harder you hit. It's out now on PC, PS4, Xbox, and Switch. Wave Break is a high-octane, action-filled, fresh take on classic arcade skating games. With Tony Hawk-style gameplay, 80s-inspired synthwave music and style, cuddly but deadly characters with the ability to shoot your friends and opponents, Wave Break will be available Q1 2020. In Super Space Club, journey alongside a group of anthropomorphic heroes as they set out to be the top-ranked defenders of the galaxy. You'll take on various missions, partake in several space dogfights, and jam out to lo-fi jazzy beats in this chill arcade-style shoot. Worth pointing out, Tim, that last game, Super Space Club, is actually made by longtime Kind of Funny best friend Graham Reed. He made the podcast Beyond 300 intro and the Kind of Funny Games cast intro alongside Andy. 
We got a lot more mixed games coming in this showcase. So if you see this logo, you know what it means. But Greg, those games are so far away. If I wanted to know what games were coming out today, where would I look? You'd go to the official list of video games releasing during the Kinda Funny Games E3 Showcase as presented by us, the Kinda Funny Games Showcase E3 host. This is a reference to Kinda Funny Games Daily. It's a show we do. I hate that jingle. You're a fucking monster. Thank you to all the developers for timing their releases with our showcase. Now, Tim, I give PC gamers a lot of good-natured grief all the time, you know? It's not good-natured at all. They hate you. And nevertheless, here's a section that's very special to me. Here are a bunch of PC games that are finally making the jump to the best place to play video games with a controller on a console. Th that's not going to endear you to the PC players at all. See you for TurboTax 2020. Update your drivers. .exe. Crash. 404. Printer.
descend into an eerie world made of scattered memories and unresolved traumas. Explore a nightmarish landscape while solving puzzles and evading gruesome beings on your quest to find and save the inner child. Are you ready to explore the darkest parts of the subconscious mind? Lord knows I, Greg Miller, am not. With the help of other survivors, you have survived the crash, built a new life, and crafted a new spaceship. But to have a future, you'll have to challenge the forces that caused the crash in the first place. The last planets are coming, and so are console ports. In this tactile action platformer, we follow a pair of misfits on their journey to find where they fit in a society that discards defects. Flipping the classic Metroidvania genre on its head, the world is a puzzle itself. Rearrange the map, construct new pathways, and discover the jealously guarded secrets of Refactor. Pig Eat Ball is a new top-down action adventure. Eat, grow, barf to solve levels. Your father, King Cake, starts you on a journey through 200 plus levels and you'll uncover a plot that threatens to destroy life on the Space Station Kingdom. Get it on Switch, PS4, and Xbox One this summer. Stand by as a stylish, high-precision platformer. Slide, dash, die, and repeat and unlock 54 unique levels, all of which challenge your platforming skills unlike anything else. Stand by is coming to Nintendo Switch on August 1st, 2019. Hold on. Was Greg just insulting PC gaming again? We will have none of that here, thank you very... Oh. Hi, I'm Jamie from Upload VR. Now, we love the kind of funny game showcase so much, this morning we did the first ever Upload E3 VR showcase. You can head to UploadVR.com right now to check out over 30 announcements we made this morning. For now though, I'm here to defend the, um, mighty PC by showing you two new VR games, one of which is coming over from Greg's precious PSVR. After that, there's going to be two more PSVR games because, well, PSVR is pretty cool. Set scene. 
<laughs> are, are we doing guests now? I thought this was our thing. I guess. Oh, God, no. Hey, Greg. Please, just don't say it. Not this time. You guys want to get weird? Weird. God, I hate you. <laughs> In After Party, you play as Milo and Lola, recently deceased best buds who find themselves staring down an eternity in hell, but there's a loophole. If you can outdrink Satan, he'll grant you re-entry to Earth. It's time to go on the best bender ever. Trigger Witch is a 2D, twin-stick, action-adventure game set in an odd open world where magic is mundane, but firearms are the new unknown. You are Colette, and as you graduate from the stock, a curious man invades your world. Welcome to the world of witchcraft and triggery. Solace State is a choice-driven sci-fi drama game about young hackers in a surveillance society where acts of resistance impact friends and factions fighting for their livelihoods. With social hacking, investigate the corrupt and influence the people. Revolutionize perspectives. The American research facility on the moon was attacked and captured by terrorists. Make no mistake, we are at war! Somebody get me a cold beer! Hoorah, hoorah, my comrades! <laughs> so salty! <laughs> you won't get away with this! It was like having sex on the hood of a hot rod. Burned your ass cheeks a little, but in the end, very f***ing cool. Riveting Saga is a snappy action adventure game with dungeons and bosses that change based on your choices. Laugh and get your butt kicked as you hop your way through the puzzle-filled dungeons next year, but you can check out the demo and Kickstarter right now at RivetingSaga.com. Wooden Nickel is a narrative adventure set in a frontier town of the great, remorseless Old West. As a stranger passing through, you'll find yourself drawn into the curiosities of the local newspaper and its link to the people of this land of dust and hard luck. Etherborn will break your goddamn mind. Rethink your idea of gravity as you run up walls and ceilings of handcrafted levels created to toy with your perception. The world is a puzzle itself, like an organic Rubik's Cube that you need to solve. Out July 18th on PC and consoles. The Heron 
and fishes in shallow reedy waters on lakes or rivers. After fishing in one place for a while, he may fly on to another favorite. Spot. The heron. The heron eats many fish. This is supposed to be a serious show. No more guests, no more Nick. Greg, would some adorable looking games help calm you down, cheer you up? What, like Kirby's Love Child and like a Crayola Fever Dream? I, mean, I don't know what you're talking about, Kirby's Love Child, but like games with like really adorable art styles and like gameplay to back it up. You know what, Tim? I think it might. Here's your next batch of indie games. Renane is a fast-paced action platformer inspired by fighting games. Seamlessly chain movement and attacks together as you quest through more than five colorful secret-packed worlds to the beat of a star-studded soundtrack. Starstruck is a music adventure game where you rampage as a gigantic human hand. Perform musical numbers as Edwin and Dawn, two troubled children whose stories are tied to the fate of the planet, and go on a rampage as a giant human hand to help them in their quest. Did we mention you are a giant human hand? Sneaky Ninja is the stealth game Nintendo would make, mixing classic platforming of Mario with the tactical stealth of Mark of the Ninja. Use all of your abilities, equipment, and environment to outsmart the samurai army in a quest to restore power to the spirit guardians. Undermine is an action-adventure roguelike where you, a lowly peasant, dig deep in search of fortune and freedom. Mine gold, make friends, and unlock permanent upgrades. Discover secrets along a beautiful, procedurally generated world and make every run better than the last. Monster Prom 2 Holiday Season brings you more of the world's best, maybe only, multiplayer dating sim, but in a way you never expected. It's three games in one. Each one brings something new, but all of them repeat Monster Prom's winning formula of beautiful art and unapologetic humor. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tim, you know what every great E3 press conference needs? What's that, Greg? An overly complicated, overly produced, overly dense developer walkthrough. I don't know. Yeah, you do. They have the nice slow spin around the main character. I don't want that. Yeah, you do. They, where the developer talks over all the dialogue, all the audio, just talks about what just they're doing. not but you get to do that. No, we have to. That's what E3 is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the showcase the developers of The Sinking City. It's still going. It's going to be great. Rated M for Mature. Hello everybody and welcome to The Sinking City, a story-driven detective thriller set in a twisted Lovecraftian version of the 1920s United States. On today's playthrough, we want to show you a little bit of... So that's it folks, thank you for watching our playthrough, I hope you liked it, and take care. Well that was weird, you know what else is weird? Greg Way. Party Mode, our weekly Let's Play multiplayer series here on youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames. Please subscribe, we understand a lot of people only listen to the podcast. These next upcoming games look like they're going to be an absolute blast to play with your friends. That's one small step for man. Gunsport is cyberpunk volleyball with guns. Teams that time their shots perfectly can propel a ball at super speeds, increasing a special meter that unlocks unique special weapons. Five stages, each with their own gimmicks, round out this action game from Necrosoft. It's sumo wrestling, but with explosives. Battle with bombs to be the last toy standing in this pick up and play party game. It's you and your bike against rocky peaks and lonely mountains downhill. Race, jump, and slide through thick forests, narrow trails, and rocky slopes, while most importantly trying not to crash. Lonely Mountains Downhill will cross the finish line later this year. Starcrossed is an action arcade game with a magical girl aesthetic and a cooperative twist. Join our cast of five space-faring heroes as they travel from planet to planet, working together to strengthen their bond and defeat a looming evil that threatens the galaxy. September 19th, 
one of the things I love about Indies, Tim, is that they get to take the art style of yesteryear and combine it with the gameplay mentalities of today. That's right, we get to relive our childhood while celebrating how far video games have come. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what our next group of old school inspired video games is all about. Let's take it back. In Aztalian, three explorers investigate an evil tower to save their village. Use the unique skills of the three different characters to defeat the terrible monsters, find powerful items, and reach the top of the tower. Strengthen your party and change the rules by embracing death. Treachery in Beatdown City is a comedic thriller where players fight dozens of ridiculous enemies with a unique battle system combining the best parts of beat-em-ups, RPGs, turn-based tactics, and fighting games. Swap between your three awesome heroes to fight your way to rescue President Blake Orama from the Ninja Dragon terrorists. Leap with the agility of a Tamarin as you journey into the northern wilderness in a world full of exploration, 3D platforming, and bug-splattering action. Explore a vast, procedurally generated medieval world, managing your own caravan and surviving physical wounds and trying to stay sane. All right, all right, so, so those look cool, but I want some of that newness, that new new. You mean like a bunch of brand new video games never before seen? Yes, Greg, I want an exact number. How many do we got? I refuse to do that. Last showcase taught me a lot of things, and if you put a number on it, somebody's gonna drop out and it screws up the entire edit. Well. Take a look at these cool games that are exclusive new reveals, unless they got leaked earlier. And a lot of them too are like, oh, we showed it at Indiecade a couple years ago. I'm like, does that count? I want new. It's new. Like most people, do you know these games? You don't know these games.
pilot an upgradable ship through waves of photorealistic shapes featuring some of the most exotic colors known to man. Swap colors to survive while pumping your favorite tunes and climbing the leaderboard. Are you ready to have a fun time? Love is in the air, but work life and spicy ramen keep getting in the way. Half Past Fate is a rom-com adventure with a charismatic 3D art style. From eight hours to eight years, this time-jumping saga will change the way you feel about fate forever. It all happened so fast. Cody, get behind me! <laughs> I don't have much time left. But I have to keep fighting. For him. Cody, whatever it takes. Last time we did the showcase, uh, we got really caught up in trying to group games by genre or platform or this or that. Uh, but this group of games, we don't really have a, a thing for. That's not entirely true, of course. For the kind of funny games E3 showcase, I said, hey, 
dozens and dozens and dozens of developers who are emailing me, do you have something new to show, a release date, a trailer, what's the news? But the main question I always asked him was, is your game dope? Ladies and gentlemen, these games are dope. Mare is an exploratory and sensory virtual reality game experienced through a mechanical bird and a lost girl, where you, by the means of your gaze, interact with the environment and guide them on a journey through a mythical world lost in time and space. Deliver Us the Moon is all about being a spaceman. You get to launch your own rocket, dock your spaceship, float in zero G, walk the moon, and of course, save the world. Deliver Us the Moon lands safely on PC, PS4, and Xbox One later this year. Exploration, combat, and puzzle solving are all part of this sprawling Metroidvania-style digital landscape. Hack the world, avoid detection, and experience the dynamic, branching narrative of Recompile. Fast, fluid, fun, free. An online cooperative shooter, looter, RPG. Gather up to four friends, gear up, and save the galaxy from a terrible villain who has stolen the past. Warborn is a turn-based strategy game where players command a strike force of anime-inspired mecha and clash with the enemy in exciting tactical battles. Fight your way to victory as one of four unique commanders in both the single-player campaign and online multiplayer. Lost Ember looks great, and if you head over to the team's Twitter right now, you can retweet for a chance to win a copy of the game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Kind of Funny Games E3 Showcase, our second one of all time. Thank you so much for all the support. Whether you just watched the showcase, whether you submitted games, whether you helped support us on Patreon.com to help make all of this happen, to make the showcase happen, we thank you. Now, enjoy the rest of your E3. Not so fast, Tim Tam. Of course, we have to have 
one more thing. Of course, though, this isn't an ordinary press conference. We couldn't end it with an ordinary game, right? An ordinary one more thing. Instead, we wanted something that embodied what we're going for with the Kind of Funny Games Showcase, right? Mm -hmm. Taking smaller developers, elevating them. So we said, who's pretty much the smallest developer we work with a lot, right? Who represents the Kind of Funny Games Showcase the most? And I can think of one man with one game who's also a kind of funny best friend. Who is it, Greg? That's Nick DiPaolo, of course. You might say you don't know him, but you do. He's the one who made the live action trailer. He showed it during the first showcase. We said, this isn't gonna be good. Live action trailers are never good. We it was sh good. We screamed it, it was really good. We showed it to you, you guys thought it was really good. He has a cult following. He uses the KFG hashtag, or showcase hashtag all the time, right? He's all about this. He's gonna beat the mix. He's blown away to be working on it. He is a one man team making this huge game. And we thought that's how we'd end it, right, Tim? So ladies and gentlemen, Get hyped for Adam's Ascending. Is my dad alive? No! Dad! <laughs> it started like any other day. Then it showed up and destroyed my world. It took everything I loved and left me with the torment. Its very existence is to kill, steal, and destroy. Then, after all my years of searching for Dad, it led me here. Adam, it's Dad. If you could hear this, there's a power here beyond us. It could set me free. But it's guarded by an evil. An evil that could consume you. Uh, I'm just gonna go. It's cool. It's alright. Second house two. Rad!